Now remember, this has been backed up, so there's a lot of traffic to get rid of. Let's give this a minute to just flow. And hopefully we should find that we don't have anything backed up on the Nanny Giggles roundabout at all. Which would kind of be nice, wouldn't it? Now we've only got two lanes here. Remember, if we really wanted to, we could put in uh, the, the six lane which would give us even more buffer space for the traffic. And bear in mind, seeing as they're turning left, turning right, and going straight on, you know, it would actually be a good idea, because then they'd have a dedicated lane for each. In fact, they'd have two lanes for each. But if we can get away with just using this one, we'll just use this one. Right, we're, well, we've, we're close to getting all... Here we go. I wonder. It's getting better with each change of the lights. Come on, guys. Keep going. Keep going. I'm kind of surprised more of this isn't using this... this road. Have I done something to break it or something? Two lane, going that way. Oh, there's, yeah, there are there's one or two cars using it, but not very many. But, here we go. Yep, now the backlog is gone. And it looks like... Yep, I mean, look at the amount of traffic that we're bringing down here. And we're still kind of keeping up with it. Okay, well, if we need to, we need to, because uh, I want this, I want this done. So we're going to take that out, and I'm going to put in a six-lane section, but just at the bottom, right? And it's just so they've got dedicated lanes for uh, for turning left, turning uh, turning left, turning right, and going straight on. This is three lane rather than uh, rather than just two lane. So let's give that a try which should mean that not only have we got more buffer space but they can actually get whichever way they're going a bit faster because they've got the dedicated lanes oh oh yes oh yes I think uh, I think that solved the problem the other thing about putting this in is, I think that this gets, because this is a bigger road, it gets a longer turn on the uh, on the traffic light uh, sequence. So this will be green for a little bit longer. And it's amazing what a difference that can make. We've This is still backing up a tiny bit. So, alright. Alright, we'll upgrade this section as well. Oh, we can't, because that bloomin' post is in the way. Can you believe it? Can you Adam and Eve it? Let's um, let's move this. Get rid of this section. Then we'll upgrade this road. Uh, there we go. <laughs> what a bonehead. Oh, stop it. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to do... Uh, yeah, six lane... No, yeah, six lane, two way. Oh dear. It's painful to watch, isn't it, guys? Ooh. Now, I just learned something. Oh, get, get rid of the. Just hook that up like that. There we go. There we go. I've put a, just put a thing on it. You know what? I should upgrade this to, because we, we're going into town. We want the noise reduction. Right, now we've got tons and tons of room for the traffic, but a lot of it is, um, is getting stuck in, uh, 
by using the same lanes. See how they stick to this lane? Oh, it's, getting a b oh, it's getting a bit better now. Like I said, they take time to adapt when you change the roads. So when you do make a change, give, you know, give it a little bit of time. There's some people doing some very strange lane changing. Which is definitely giving us a little bit of an issue. But give it a bit of time. Because like I said, these guys, they don't recalculate their route all the time. So you may have to wait a little bit of time before you see the impact of the changes that you've made to the roads. And... Uh, Yeah, but we're not backing up into into here. We are keeping kind of moving. Kind of, sort of. Come on, come on. Use these extra lanes. Go, go, go. You know, I actually, th I actually think this works better. I was trying to, trying to see how that worked, but I think it actually works better with a single lane off ramp and then they then change into the lanes that they want so we'll, we'll switch it back to that so let's come off there to there and let's see let's see come on guys are you going to get sensible about the lanes that you choose now yeah that, you know that 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 seems to work a little bit better weird isn't it you would think having like the, the the whole three lanes that they'd get into the right thing, but I don't know. I think it was causing them a bit of confusion. Now they're getting into the lanes a hell of a lot better, and now we've got no backing up at all. Wow. Well, there you go. So it took a took a little bit of playing with, but we've um, we've fixed Nanny Giggles Baby Bump Roundabout. How about that? Building's burned down. What a change. Right, let's go up here. Let's uh, check out the old traffic and see how's things. Okay, so all of this is smooth. All of this is smooth. Round here, we've got a similar issue with this backing up from this one. Should we solve this one? Yeah, come on. Let's do it. Because we know. We know how to do it now. Let's pause this. So we want uh, we want a longer longer off ramp. So let's put in an off ramp coming off here, All right? And then we'll change it to a we we'll use one of these again, but we'll use one without the trees this time. Hook that up to there, All right? And let it run. And so now these have got a nice buffer zone to go into. They've got priority because this is a bigger road. And suddenly everything's running pretty darn smoothly. It's simple. I mean, they're relatively simple tricks to learn. So this is now totally cool. Right. This is backing up because this is horrendous and horrible. Right. So, what are we going to do? We've got a lot of traffic which is backing up in this. Well, we, we can fix that. We know how to fix that. We've got the same problem here. Well, we know how to fix that. We can fix that one. Right, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's get close down this. So, our solution here... Now, this is the on-ramp. Yeah, it's the off-ramp that we want to deal with. Let's pause this. So, we'll get rid of that. And we'll put in a six lane, one way. Oh, no. No, no, no. Need to move that out a little bit more. Need to make that off ramp a little bit wider. So, well, highway, off ramp. Yeah, from there. Bring it out a little bit wider. Six lane, two way, plane. Boom, hook that up down there. 
Same thing on this side. Take out. Actually, can I can I upgrade it to the? I think I can, can't I? Yep. And that section is there as well. Right. Let's let that run. And we'll see how that affects the traffic. And instantly, pretty much instantly, we're getting the um, the backups off the highways. And they're going into these effectively buffer zones. Still going to take them a, a bit of time to sort themselves out. And obviously these guys still have this issue of that they're coming down here and they've got to go through this intersection to get onto this um, this off ramp uh, this on ramp rather I should say so um, what about if we add uh, and I, I've actually got to look at this to see whether this works but see oh, change that if we put an, uh, an on ramp an off ramp going that way right Does that put another intersection in yeah but it's only yield signs rather see this one up here this is traffic lights this is just yield signs oh and now this traffic can get straight onto the highway without having to wait for the traffic lights so you know what oh and look yeah that's shifting a whole bunch of traffic that would have been backing up in in in, in this line, right? Trying to get down here to turn right. Now they can just go straight down and get onto the highway. Good. So that's moving that. Excellent. Right. Uh, what what else? What else? What else is sticky? We've got this this traffic here up to uh, up to this junction is pretty sticky now what can we what can we do to help them out a bit do you think I'm not to be honest I'm kind of not too sure what we can do really to help them and that's just that's just really the sheer volume of traffic that's trying to get into the oil. Oh, oh, we've got a problem. We've got a problem with the electricity. Something's not working. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the problem is the sheer volume of traffic that's trying to use one road to get in here. So I think we need to provide, like, alternate routes in here. I think we need an extra route in here, an extra road, maybe going up here or something. We could run, actually, we could run a highway up into this area. That's not a bad idea. Is it we're just short of power? No. So why are we having a, why are we having a brownout up, up here? That's connected. That's carrying power to here. We've got enough power. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I wonder, have we got something crazy going on like with the... Ah, you know, this isn't connected, that's why. Alright, you know what, let's do that, let's hook that up. So let's take... Uh, are we going to do it with a fancy road or... Yeah, let's do it, let's take a fancy road. Why not? Should we use the curve tool? I think we probably should. Are we going to hook it up? I think we'll probably hook it up to... Oh. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That was easy. Right, and then we'll take our power cables. Oh, man, I get still, like, I, I, I say it and I say it, but, like, how much fun is this game? You can just get lost in here for hours tinkering around with these things. Uh, we'll take it down to here and then there and just hook it up to there. Right, now that will introduce, hopefully... Yeah, there we go. Hydroelectric power into the power grid, which we didn't have before. And then hopefully that'll be enough to cater for all these guys up here. Assuming that it's feeding into the grid. Oh, look. No, no, no. We need to hook this up. Aha, there you go. Uh, you know what? I think we need to take this. 
Uh, went down here and then across. Yeah, there we go. Hook that up to there. Hook that up to there. And there we go. There's our problem solved. Lovely. Okay, well that's good news. That's good news. Alrighty, so, yeah, I we need to provide an alternate route into here. There's, no, there, there's kind of no getting around it. So, um, what can we do? What can we do? Let's take... Uh, the problem is fitting it in. I can take... You know what? I can take it this side, can't I? Yeah, come on. Let's do that then. So let's just take a one-way road. Because that's, that's the only thing that we're really interested in. Is the... Uh, uh, let's run it out here and then run it around here and take it kind of up here-ish and then where do I want to hook up to? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to go up to kind of there and then there. Right. Now, the only problem with doing that is we've now got two intersections very, very close together, which is a very bad idea. So, pause that for a second. Get rid of that. Highway. Ramp. We come off there. Boom. Right, so now we've only got a single intersection. Short, very short distances between two intersections very very bad idea and even this one isn't that long and this one isn't long either and that's really what's contributing but hopefully if we can get this moving a bit now also the the traffic coming down here right we've got it turning this way but also it's coming down here to turn this way so again it's got to go through this intersection what we could do is provide an off-ramp directly into here so let's do it let's take an off-ramp and we'll do a bit of page up and then we'll take it oops across here hopefully oh come on uh, what about if I... Oh, that that would kind of... That would kind of work. And then hook it down to there. There we go. Right, so now... Hopefully, yeah! We're going to start seeing guys say, Oh, you know what? I don't need to go down to this ridiculous busy intersection. I can just come straight off and get into here. Which... Uh, We'll see if that makes a difference. And again, we need to be careful now because we've got traffic coming off here. Does this back up? Right? It might be okay, but I think probably just to be safe, let's upgrade that to um, Yeah, so we've got two lanes there now instead of one lane. It's just Gives them a bit more room. Look at that. See how it works? Isn't that excellent? Um, I must admit, I am absolutely loving this. Because you do have the tools. I mean, in SimCity, you just didn't have the tools to be able to do this before uh, before Udon came along. And then, even then, it was, it was still a mod. And uh, you couldn't use it necessarily on all the big maps very nicely. This gives you so many more options. Yeah, there are one or two little limitations with the traffic, but to be honest, there's nothing really insurmountable. And, oh, you know what, now we've put that in. This is running a hell of a lot better. How are we doing down here? Yeah, this is okay. It's a little bit sticky here. Should maybe think about upgrading this road. But yeah, generally, that's all moving. Right, this is backing up a little bit here. This traffic's all turning to go into here. 
but it's not backing up too far and it's not interfering with any other traffic so yeah kind of kind of sort of ish okay right so and bear in mind like I said this is with the heaviest possible traffic because we've got no trains right let's have a last look at the uh, at the traffic how are we looking downtown fine a little bit sticky down here little bit of a sticky junction there how's this all looking this isn't backing up onto there that's fine this is heavy but it's all moving there's no horrendous traffic jams this is all moving that's fine same here where else this is all fine this junctions beautiful this is all smooth this is all smooth nanny giggles is working great guys there you go we have a working traffic system now what we're going to do is we're going to put the trains in and we're going to make it even better come back for that one <laughs>